Soil is the outermost unconsolidated superficial layer of the Earth's crust subjected to physical and chemical changes and which contains both biotic and abiotic components in different proportions. It is the region on the Earth's surface where geology and biology meet. Soil is usually differentiated into horizons of minerals and organic constituents of variable depths. Pedology is the study of soil. Soil is mainly composed of five ingredients minerals, soil organic matter, living organisms, gas, and water. The mineral fraction of soil consists of particles of various sizes. According to their size, soil particles are grouped into the following types. The particle sizes of the various components of soil are suggested by the International Society of Soil Science. The particle types are generally called soil separates or soil fractions. Amount of soil separates is determined by a process known as mechanical analysis. In this process, soil sample is crushed and screened through a 2 mm round hole sieve. The screened soil is then homogeneously dispersed in water and allowed to settle. In suspension, particles of the largest dimensions will settle first and those of the smaller dimensions will settle afterwards. Individual soil separates are identified on the basis of their respective diameter ranges. Some soils are fine, while others are coarse. It is so because of the fact that the relative percentage of sand, silt, and clay differ from soil to soil. The relative percentage of soil separates of a given soil is referred to as the soil texture. The texture of the soil for a given horizon is almost a permanent character because it remains unchanged over a long period of time. The soil texture of a sample of soil is determined using the Soil Textural Pyramid or Triangle recognized by the USDA or US Department of Agriculture. This chart is adapted from the fraction system of USDA. If relative percentages of soil separates are known, the soil can be given a textural name. The knowledge of soil texture is of great help in the classification of soil and in the determination of degree of weathering of rock. In this video, we'll determine the soil texture of five different samples of soil collected from five different areas. The following materials are required to perform this experiment. Five identical graduated cylinders or gas jars. Five soil samples collected from five different locations. Five spatulas or spoons. A measuring scale, print out copies of soil textural triangle diagram, data entry table. Take the five air dried and preferably powdered samples of soil in different containers and label them appropriately. Manually remove any large pieces of plant and animal debris and stones from each sample. Now take five identical graduated cylinders or gas jars. I'll be using gas jars for this experiment. In fact, you can use any tall and narrow cylindrical transparent containers with a flat base for this. Now introduce approximately equal amounts of the five soil samples into the five cylinders or jars such that almost half of the jars are filled with the samples. Label the jars appropriately. Then add equal quantities of water to each of the containers such that the water level is at least 5 to 10 centimeters above the soil samples in each jar. You can also add a teaspoonful of detergent powder into each of the jars. The detergent acts as a surfactant and helps in the effective separation and resolution of the sand, silt and clay components. Now cover each container using a lid or the palm of your hands and shake the contents vigorously for a couple of minutes in order to homogenize the soil by breaking down larger soil particles and also to achieve a thorough mixing with the water. Do this for all the five sample containers. Leave the containers undisturbed for a couple of hours to overnight to allow the components of the soil to settle down by the force of gravity. For accurate results, it is recommended that the soil particles be allowed to settle down for at least 24 hours. At the end of a few hours overnight, observe the soil samples in each of the containers. 
that remind the sand, silt, and clay layers, which by now would have separated into different strata within the containers in descending order of size. The bottom of the container has the larger sand particles followed by smaller size silt particles, and finally a layer of fine clay particles at the top. You can also find a layer of dead organic matter or humus floating on the surface of the water in the containers. Now starting with the first sample container, measure the depth of the sand, silt and clay layers of the soil using a measuring scale. In case you are using graduated cylinders, you can directly use the milliliter graduations printed on the cylinder for measuring the depth of the layers. Note down the depth of each layer in centimeters or millimeters or milliliters. Do the same with the rest of the soil samples. Tabulate your observations in a format shown here and calculate the percentages of sand, silt and clay for each soil sample using the formula given below this table. Once that's done, determine the soil texture type of each of the five samples by plotting the percentage results for sand, silt and clay of each soil sample on the soil texture triangle chart. For example, the first soil sample taken in this experiment has 47.4% sand, 42.3% silt, and 10.2% clay. So on the printout sheet of the soil textural triangle, mark the percentage of sand on the side of the triangle designated for sand. And from this marked point, draw a straight line which is parallel to the side of the triangle designated for silt. Similarly, mark the silt percentage on the side of the triangle designated for silt, and then from there, draw a line parallel to the side of the triangle designated for clay. Finally, mark the clay percentage on the side of the triangle designated for clay, and from this point, draw a line parallel to the side of the triangle designated for sand. Now determine the labeled region within the triangle where the point of intersection of these three lines fall under. That will give you the soil texture type. Sample 1 which is garden soil is found to have a loamy texture after plotting the percentage components on the soil textural triangle. So sample 1 can be called loamy soil. In this way the soil texture of all the five samples of soil can be determined. So this is how one can easily deduce the soil texture of different samples of soil either in the lab, in the field or even at home. Make sure to watch my other soil experiment videos as well by clicking on the end screen card shown on the screen right now or the many links given in the description below. Thanks for watching.